What are you up to? Vehicle checks. Just checking my load. Ah, we got a hole on the roof. I have to make sure no illegals get in there. No, I'm going, going out. out. I'm going, going out. out. There, there'll be no illegals going no, out, will there? No. Well, I don't know. I, I might stay away. You're not coming. You came at five o'clock this morning. I know. Come off my lorry, ready for me holding the trip. <laughs> so I've done my vehicle checks. First European trip. Yep. Well, I've been abroad, but to but, truck shows. Yeah. This is my first European load. Oh, I am excited. Number plate's now on. Oh, we found a new one, did we? We made one up. Wow. Who made that for you? Oh, then? big news, big news, big news, big news, big news. We have a number plate for the channel. What have we got? What do we, what do we get? Oh, God, tell me, tell me, tell me. To come. Oh. But there is a number plate for the R series. In the UK, yeah. when you strap a load, have the straps on the passenger side. Yes. You know the matches. Yes. But I'm going abroad. So it's totally opposite side, isn't it? So that means I'd have to re strap the load in Calais. <sighs> So I've done half and half. As you can see, we've got one this yep, side, yep. one the other side. One this side, <laughs> one the other side. Okay. One this side, and I can't hey, go wrong. What do you need when you when you go abroad, mate? What, what do you physically need? A truck, trailer, load. You don't need like uh, warning triangles, uh, anything like that, no? Oh, here we Let go. Let me get my European bag out. That looks well used. Yes, I'm always in Europe. <laughs> One of them, yeah. The warning triangle, okay. Breathalysers. Okay, yeah, yeah. I ain't doing that. I've got light eyebrows that I do, haven't <laughs> Blanket, just uh, in case you get cold. I've got a night heater. Blanket, put a duvet in there. <laughs> she ain't gonna blow off there. You lost your GB. I have him. <laughs> Make sure it's straight. The tape measure. No. Have you got one? No. You haven't? No. You're a detailer, and you haven't got a tape measure. Why would I have a tape measure? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, mate. There's no that'll doubt do. Do about it, Dan. But that'll do. to be right. This is a European haulage job. Oh, we'll just do four tug tests, shall we? Just because I didn't film it, doesn't mean I didn't do Very it. true, mate. Very true. Oh, what's he done here? Mm. I'm ready for Europe. My documentation. V5, pack, yeah, V5, absolutely. Which soon needs to go to res oh. transfers for the. I mean, I'm excited. The, mate. the change. I'm excited. It's having the change. Okay. Okay. Passport. Let's make sure that's not Mrs. Trucker Tim's. It's Mrs. Trucker Tim's. Is it really? Yeah, I should get through. Operator's license. Yep. Got my insurance. Then all my. All the paperwork of that. All my come on. Oh my god! How much that is. Does your insurance cover that? Barely. <laughs> the ferries. 246 quid each way. I thought that was quite good. Okay. For a, obviously for a lorry, I wonder what it would be like mm. for a car. Less. Can I? Do you know? Do you know where? Do you know where they're going to uh, lash the truck down on? I hope they're not lashing. I think it's going to be a rough crossing, don't you? She's whistling. The wind's getting up again. She's whistling. Oh. I'm impressed, mate. You, you're proper organised. I think I'm ready. I'm missing some paperwork. Right. Oh, what road tax? I've got to pay road tax and I'm in Belgium. Have you? Yeah, what about the Netherlands? Oh, I've been to Aston, I should know. I'll just send it. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, I can take it from here. Thank you. I'm waiting for you to get out. Cheerio. <laughs> Massive shout out to DK Detailing for coming here at half four this morning to wash my truck ready for Europe. Let's go to Holland! Stay tuned because who knows what is going to happen on this trip. We're heading down to Dover. We're going Dover, Calais, and then all the way through France, Belgium, into the Netherlands to Agrifac HQ. then Sun Diesel oh 
for crying out loud. Is he gonna follow me to Holland? Can you just leave me alone? <laughs> you want me to fill her up? Yes, please. Oh. You lost your GB. I haven't. You have. I haven't. You have? It's gone already. Great dust already. Oh, that's no good, is it? That's a lot of diesel. In Dalish. Before you washed this, this is a brand new car. You were heavy on those old brakes, then, didn't you? Well, this axle won't even down. <laughs> In the BP. Well, that's oh, why come I've, on. That's why I've had to chase you. Come on. Have a receipt, please. Early call out charge. How much was it? I didn't actually look at the screen. Early call out charge, mate. Sorry. Three. That's surely that's meant to be 32. You've got the decimal point in the wrong place. Early call out charge, mate. It's Saturday morning. We've got two hours, 20 minutes down to Dover now to catch our boat. We've got horses going across the M25. That doesn't happen very often, does it? Now it's very windy out there. I can see it being a rough crossing. And now the shipping forecast issued by the Met Office. Warnings of gales in all areas except Forth and Tyne. Dogger, Fisher, Dover. Dover. Southeast veering southwest five to seven, occasionally gale eight later. Gale. Cyclonic four to six, occasionally gale eight at first to severe gale nine. Rain or thundery showers, good, occasionally poor. Over the Dartford crossing, driver! Oh mate, here loves a bit of pipe, look. It's windy up here, look at my tang wheel. I feel like I'm on a boat now. Trying to keep her upright on here. <laughs> we are now on the A2 heading towards Dover. Trucker Tim, European Express Logistics. Heading for the boat. Hey, no, it'll be a while before you see your mate. No, you're looking well. Hey! Welcome to the ferry terminal. Here we go, guys. My first load to Europe. P and O, I'm over this way, look. Oh, look at the queue for the other ones. Have I gone in the wrong lane here? Have I gone in the wrong lane? I don't know. This don't seem right, does it? I feel like I'm jumping the queue here a little bit. Oh god. I've got a green light, I'm going through. No idea. Oi mate! Yeah, another fun day at the fort. Yeah! <laughs> Great! You? Yeah, good you? I recognise you from somewhere. YouTube! Yes, correct! I've just gone down that lane yes. by everybody. Yeah. They're queuing for DFDS. Are they? Ah. There's less DFDS boats, so their queue takes a little bit longer. Ah. Have a great day, sir. Cheers, thank you. Passport required. Thank you. What's with all the beeping? I went down the outside because I'm P&O. They was all queuing there because they was DFDS. But you could go down the P&O lane, show him your passport, come in here, and you can still decide in here which one you want to go in. You go down that P&O lane, cut in here, and get in the DFDS lane. They don't really make any difference. Little trick there. I didn't tell you that. Yeah, look, they all go DFDS. Bit of pipe. Get my documents out. We are next at the booth. European motorway law. Be safe, be What's that? Legal? Well, I'm not in a left hooker, so I've got to climb across Mr. Robinson style. What do you need here, driver? I've got my passport. Do you need that? Um, have you got any more paperwork? No. I need your custom documents. What? Is that my documents yeah. for the customs? Yeah. Either a T1, Anticipe, Carne. Yeah, I'm missing some paperwork. Right. Have you got nothing on your phone? Hang on, let me make a call. Yeah, give them a call and see if they've got a T1 or an Anticipe. Hello, mate. 
I haven't got all the relevant documentation. Really? T1. I need a T1 form. It's either a carne, a carne, a T1, a T1 or an anticipate. Or an anticipate. One of those three. Oh, mate, no worries. Okay. He's just making a phone call to the agent who's done all the paperwork. Is your trailer number? I'll just put T1, it doesn't really have a number. Have you got a GMR? <laughs> no, I don't know, mate. That's all they gave no, me. Is it not on the phone? No, I ain't got anything on the phone. Do I need a GMR as well? GMR as well, yeah. And I also need a GMR as well. We can explain to him exactly what we wanted, mate. We said, we've done all that for us, and said, that's all you need. GMR as well. A GMR, yeah, it's a code. Goods movement reference. Good, goods movement reference. I haven't got any customs for this load. Yeah, but and the GMR, <laughs> that needs And the GMR, I need that as well. They yeah. Okay. They won't let me ship without a GMR either. Can I try and go on the shipping company and we'll, we'll, we'll not ring you back yet? Yeah, alright, mate. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Not a good start for my trip, is it? There's a parking, just when you go out from here yeah. and then to your right. Go to the right. You'll see loads of lorries parked up. Yeah. There's a driver's reception building. Okay. You'll have to go in there. Yeah. So we haven't got all the paperwork we need. So I've got to go and park up here with these trucks and go in there, the driver's reception building, once I've got everything. We don't want to be held up in customs. Good start to the trip. Held in customs. We don't have the relevant paperwork. I'm backed in alongside the White Cliffs of the Dover. Can't seem to get hold of anyone. With it being Saturday, all the customs places are closed. Good. I've been given an hour's parking for in here. If it's not sorted within an hour, I have to leave. Cool. Oh, what a nightmare. I've got an hour to sort it, if not I've got to leave. Really? Yeah. So yeah. Uh -huh. and, and, uh -huh. and, right. Uh, but he's hung Germany and that didn't even ring, it cut off. How do I get a T1 form? According to Universal Customs Clearance, to get a T1 form, you need to have a guarantee with HMRC or use a customs broker who has one to raise the form for you. This is Customs because the broker. company that raises the T1 is responsible for the duty and VAT of the consignment if the T1 is not closed off at the other side of the transit. What? To obtain a T1 transit, you need to work with a customs broker, it says. Yeah. This is very, very complicated. It is, isn't it? I just want to take something across the water. It's easy with that trailer, isn't it? Yeah, it's easier when you go to like truck shows. Or if you've got a, a curtain cider on, then you can just be empty all the time, can't you? That leaves happen, mate. Are, are you st so you're stuck at Dover, is that right? Yeah, I'm at Dover because I ain't got a T1 form. You found my long lost brother. All this time and he's working for the border force. He's going places. Can I just quickly ask, the actual haulage company that you're you're working for, what are they called, sorry? It's my, it's my company. Oh, it's your company. Okay, wonderful. White Dover tomorrow and see. Um, you can't just park there, mate. Oh, my God, what a disaster of a first European trucking trip! There's a PO boat just come in, I'd have been on that. They made it to the boat drive? Yeah, we've got problems, drive. Oh no, what's up? <laughs> I'm in the customs holding area. Oh dear, why well, what's happened? Well, I ain't got all the relevant paperwork required. You need a car now, don't you? Yeah, or a T1. Right, give me five minutes, yeah? Okay. Are yeah. you now a shipping agent, Sean? Yeah, I'll sort it for you. Thank you, drive. You're crossed. All thank, right. thank you, mate. Thanks, boy. Bye. Do a little bit of editing, I suppose. I ain't got long for I've got to be out of here. I'll like pull out and go to Ashford Truck Stop or something. Right. I'm currently editing the Holland prep video. <laughs> Prepping for failure. Time's up. I gotta leave. Go to a truck stop somewhere. Gotta get an exit pass. 
I've got my gate pass to exit the port. We are looking well though. He said, put this in your window and customs will leave you alone. Lane 81 is exit. Sean's got me in touch with Lavi and he reckons I need to go to Sevington, the border force or something at Sevington, and they can give me my T1. But I don't know, whatever. Let's go. Exit, sortie, main 81, down here. Well, I'll tell you what guys, this isn't what I was expecting. Let's get a bit of pipe on, cheer us up a bit. Just coming off the boat. <gasps> Woo! Nearly an accident there. Can you see that? It's like I'm bringing stuff in, but I ain't even been out. So customs should leave us alone because we got that in our window. Thank you. I haven't been abroad. Although it looks like I've just come off a boat, I haven't. Bowser. Crap. Oh. <gasps> Windows down pipe off drive. Ooh, a tunnel. <laughs> so Lavi, AGL Spedition, has just phoned me and said, Tim, don't go to Sevington yet. Put into stop 24 for a minute. He's just looking into stuff for me. Stop 24. Customs, Zoll, what? <sighs> this is all very testing, very testing. Two hours free parking. Aha, right. P, K, 63. It soon won't be that, guys. It soon won't be that. Right, we're in. Go. I've got to try and find a CMR. I'll get a CMR, fill that out, and then I can take that paper that I've got and the CMR to Sevington, and I should get a T1 form. How am I going to find a CMR? He said, you have, might have to knock on some truck doors. I think I see an English lorry driver over here somewhere. Let's see if we can speak to him. I think I see an English lorry over here. Oh yeah, this one here, look, Sock. Let's go and speak to Sock. Massive shout out to Sock. I got one, <laughs> got a CMR. The blank one. I've got to fill it out now. I'm going to ring Lavi, and he is going to help. I'm now going to ring Lavi at AGL Spedition <laughs> and tell him I've got one, and he's going to tell me how to fill it out. Legend, shout out to Sock. I don't think he was a follower, so I didn't get him on camera. But if watching this, or well, you know who Sock is, Tell him I'm very, very thankful. I did tell him myself, but tell him again and show him this video, maybe. There's Sock. Look, there he is. Hey, you got one? I got one, yeah. Sender is Agrifax. So I've got to put Agrifax in their address. Yeah, what's it say underneath Sender? Then what's it say? Uh, place and date of taking over the goods. Yeah. Put Agrifax in the top box. Yeah. And I've got to find it now. Here we go. Oh, you and your I'll get it to Hmm, great. Okay, so we have our completed CMR. We've now got to go to Sevington and try and get a T1. Let's see how this goes. V, V, V. Yes. Let's go. Sevington bound. And if I get all my paperwork, I can then head back to the boat and get a boat. Inland border facility. That is where I'm heading. Inland border facility, left. Oh my word. I've been advised to act dumb. So that's what I'll do. I think I, I need, am I here for my, t can I get my T1 from here? Sevington inland border facility. Oh my good God. Oh, one of Sid Hill's trailers there. Visit HGVs only to the right. Open lanes 29, 30, 31, 32. Here we go, guys. <sighs> See how we get on here. <laughs> 
What is happening? This is not what I was expecting today. I'm coming, driver, I'm coming. Hope he speaks English, but he don't. Hello. Export, I think. Can I get my T1 from here? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, first time, yeah. Don't know what I'm doing. Parking bay. Okay, thank you. It is one way, yeah? Show that way, yep. Direction. Go to the left, go straight into the end right. Okay. Park, park this, take the document and go to the building. Yep. To the export queue, yeah? Thank you. F08. PK63. BVV. Look, I'm on there. F08, this way. And then my reg is on that one. No idea what's going on. <laughs> what am I doing in here? <laughs> oh, it's all a learning curve though, isn't it? Meant to be taking a boat to Morocco. I'm not sure how keen I am now. I know if they park me right down there, I'm like the furthest away possible and there's all these spaces here and over here. Right, let's find out where we need to be. Here we go then. I'm not holding up much hope at all. I'm actually taking to Holland the sprayer boom sections that I had on when I broke down. Broke down. Just hope it's not AM. Um... Yeah, let's hope this, these aren't a bad omen. Yeah. I've been given a red card. It's not happening. We're not going to Holland today, guys. I'm going to take it back to the yard, park it up. Got to get all the paperwork sorted. Doesn't help this Saturday as well. Tomorrow's Sunday, so nothing's going to get done tomorrow. If it's not get done today, so yeah, we'll try again another day. I cannot actually believe this. Head back to the yard then. Home in the sat nav, quarter past five tonight. Straight back to the yard and park up. I can't actually believe this is happening. Look out. Ooh, look out. Thank you. get something in your head like something's gonna happen like you're gonna go abroad you could drive through France into Belgium and then that doesn't happen so it messes with your head a bit because you get something you get a picture in your head of what you're gonna be doing and then it doesn't happen something completely different happens I'm gutted really gutted but we're still gonna go so stay tuned we're still gonna go just gotta get all the relevant paperwork sorted first I've got no end of contacts I should have checked with someone to make sure we had all the documentation. But when you use a shipping agent, you would think you don't need to worry. Everything's done, which they, they said everything was done, but clearly wasn't. This is a completely different video <laughs> to what I was expecting. We tried everything. I've got a CMR off sock, filled it out, came here, went in there, and they said, you need a GMR, which I can't get. And to get the T1 form, which we thought the CMR was going to get us, you need more than a CMR, and you need an LNR. Thank you, guys. Pleasure. Get on, boy! He has got all of the Durabrites. So at the Dartford Tunnel, I did not expect this to be on this video. We'll have the pipe on in here. Just you wait. <laughs> here we go. Yes. get parked up leave it all hooked up ready for later in the week i think we're going to go later in the week if we get the paperwork sorted oh, ho, ho, ho. i love this truck
Can't beat it. So I've been trying to make an honest living. Yeah. You know, trying to get across the border and you're just here messing around with go-karts. I don't know, that could end up down the side of your truck. Mind that light. Gilly lights. <gasps> he just hit my Tamu. Oh no, he broke it. God. Oh. Jesus. Barrier what is, is down. happening? You need a GMR, goods movement reference. Where did you get that from? Government gateway, they reckon. Government gateway. I, like I couldn't find it on the way back. I was looking for the gateway. Right at the last minute, yeah. they gave me this piece of paper. Ah. A red card. Ah. <laughs> they said you'll have to leave. Ah. And that was that, and I come home. Oh. Until paperwork is sorted. Yeah, bye. And there we go. Back where we started. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss the second attempt of crossing the channel. Next time, I'm going to make sure 100% we've got everything we need for the trip. I'm so gutted we are not parked up in Belgium right now. But we're back at the yard. We try again. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs>